Hello everyone and welcome to the next lot of theories surrounding District 9. This one is going to be about character theories. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is for your starter is what types of characters do you tend to find in films? An example of that is, is a hero or a heroine. Okay, so that's one example. Make a list of different character types that you tend to find in films. Pause the video. Okay, before you do that then, um, before we um, um, have a look at some examples made by this new theory that we're going to be looking at, I want you to recap um, Todorov's narrative theory. Okay, so pause the video and match up which one links to which. Okay, pause the video now. Okay, let's go for the answers then. So the equilibrium is where we have the state of balance. We have the disruption, where oppositional characters and problems are introduced. We have the recognition of the disruption, okay, where the character um, the character develops, okay, and then we have um, the attempts to repair, which is where there might be a twist or a climactic point where the character tries to solve the problem, and then we have the new equilibrium, which is the new state of balance, okay, which is the problem is solved and the harmony is um, the harmony is brought back, okay. So that's the one theory we've done. In the last lesson, we also looked at um, the narrative theory of the hero's journey. Okay, so don't forget that as well. We'll be using that in um, the following lessons. Okay, uh, let's move on to character theory then. All right, so character theory. Um, it was made by Vladimir Propp, who was another 20th century theorist. He analysed 100 tales and came up with two theories. He had a narrative structure theory, I think you've had enough of those, and a character theory. Okay, so he had the hero, the villain, the dispatcher, the helper, the princess or prize, and often the father, the donor, and the false hero. Now, because you guys are so clever, what I want you to do is pause the video and um, match up on your screen which one you think links to which, okay? You should be able to do it um, just um, instinctively. Okay, so pause the video and match these up. All right, let's get the answers then. So we have the hero. The character who reacts to the dispatcher and donor characters, thwarts the villain, resolves any lacking or wrong codes, and weds the princess. The villain, remember these are very stereotypical. And the villain, an evil character that creates a struggle for the hero. The dispatcher, any character who needs the hero to have the quest and sends the hero off. This often overlaps with the princess's father. The helper, a typically magical entity that comes to help the hero in their quest. The princess of prize and often her father. The hero deserves her throughout the story, but is unable to marry her as a consequence of some evil or injustice. And um, perhaps the work of the villain, the hero's journey is often ended when he marries the princess, which constitutes the villain's defeat. The donor, a character that prepares the hero or gives the hero some magical object, sometimes after testing them. And then we have the false hero, a figure who takes credit for the hero's actions or tries to marry the princess. So we're going to be looking at some examples from films and you're going to be spotting which one belongs to which. Okay, so in the description of this video, you'll find links to each of these scenes, okay? So you'll have Harvey Dent from The Dark Knight, you'll have the genie from Aladdin, you'll have Hercules and Meg from Hercules in 1997, you'll have Voldemort, and I think the clip is from The Deathly Hallows, um, you'll have Obi-Wan Kenobi from um, A New Hope, Star Wars, and you'll have Morpheus from The Matrix. So I want you to pause the video, watch all six of them, and see which of the hero, the villain, the dispatcher, the helper, the princess, the donor, or the false hero matches to them then. So pause the video, watch all six. It won't take you about 20 minutes, okay? And explain to me how each one matches the character type. Do that now. All right, so... So yeah, should have Harvey Dent. He is your false hero, pretends to be Batman, but also becomes the villain at the end. You have the genie, um, who is the magical helper. You have Meg, who is the princess. You have Hercules, who is the hero. You have Voldemort, who is the villain. You have Obi Wan, who is the um, the helper, also the donor and the dispatcher. And then we also have Morpheus, who is the um, the dispatcher. Then okay, so hopefully you guys got those. Okay. Um, but now that you've looked at those, we're going to be looking at um, other examples you've seen in films then. So see if you can come up with any films, um, film characters that match these. Okay, It could be any film that you like. Okay, And the challenge there is, is there any overlap or confusion and why? Do some characters fit different um, character types and why? 
All right. So let's have a look at characters from District 9 then. So we have Vickers, we have Christopher Johnson, Kubus Venter, Tanya, Obasanjo, and Piet Smith. So which one belongs to which character? Okay, some of them will be obvious, some of them won't be. Pause the video. All right, so first one. Vickers is the hero. We have, um, he can also be seen as the helper or the donor. You've got Christopher Johnson, um, also helper, hero, donor. You have Tanya, who's obviously the princess and a terrible actress. And then we have um, Obasanjo, who's the villain and the donor because he gives weapons to um, uh, Vickers. And then we have Kuba, Spencer, who's the false hero, but also the villain because the characters treat him as if he is a hero and actually he's the villain. We have Piet Smith, who is clearly the villain. All right, so these characters belong to these character types as dictated to by prop. But you'll notice a couple of them or several of them match different ones, okay? So we're going to be looking at analysing how this works in terms of um, how these characters fit into it and how we talk about it, okay? So we're going to watch the final scene from District 9. Again, it's in the description. Watch it first before doing this activity. So once you've watched this clip, we're going to be looking at an analysis and an example before you do your own, okay? So as you watch the clip, list the character types involved in the scene, and that's what um, things to kind of think about as you uh, watch it are what are they what is that character what are each character doing in the scene and why and how well are they playing their role as the character um, for example if it's Vickers is it being a good hero in this scene or is he um, disappointing to the audience etc okay so once you've watched that scene um, make a list of different character types involved and consider those points all right I want to show you an example analysis of how you talk about it though okay have a look Christopher is an example of a magical helper who assists the hero in their quest. In the clip, Christopher explains how he will help Vickers cure his arm. So this is not the same scene as you've chosen, um, as I've given to you guys, okay? In this scene, it is a stereotypical use of the character as he's very clearly trying to help Vickers. However, he also has an ulterior motive, which is to save his people, and the only way to do so is to get information from Vickers and play along. Furthermore, early on in the film, it's seen that he was a victim rather than a helper, but he changed when Vickers did. Finally, at the end of the film, Christopher becomes somewhat of a hero when he leaves Earth to go home in order to save his planet. Therefore, the character type of helper is used but altered to suit the narrative Blomkamp, the director, wanted to tell. So, what I'm going to show you is how I structured this analysis and how I used this um, character theory in order to analyze okay so the order of the, I did it then so I explained Christopher's role in the scene I explained how Christopher is different from other helpers in other films I explained how Christopher has changed I explained how Christopher is presented at the end and I gave a little bit of a conclusion so what I want you to do is I want you to pick a character from the scene that I gave to you in the description and I want you to write down an analysis of how that character is presented, just like I did here. Okay? Now, organise it in the same way. So if it's Vickers, so what is, Chris, um, what is Vickers' role in the scene? How Vickers is different from other types of characters? How Vickers has changed? How Vickers is presented at the end? And a conclusion. Okay? In the exam, they're going to want to ask you how characters change as the story develops so do not forget so do not forget to um analyze how the character tracks and how it changes throughout the film okay now the challenge at the top there is how useful is this character theory for film that's going to be part of the plenary as well so have a real think about whether or not this theory is um interesting i've noticed on the right hand side this is quite difficult to read so if you want to use this screen as your structure you can do so re-watch that scene that I've put in the description and explain to me how Vickers or Kubus maybe is presented in the scene and what type of character are they representing okay it's unlikely they're being used as the helper okay like it was for Christopher so it could be hero could be anti-hero could be villain whatever pick a character analyze it in a very similar way just like this and think about that challenge okay pause the video spend about 20 minutes on this minimum okay about 20 minutes, really analysing how this character is presented, whether or not it be Vickers or Kubus. Pause the video.
Okay then, so the plenary, the final things. So, the problems with the theory. Okay, so we're going to be looking at whether or not it matters that there's a lot of crossover between characters and whether or not that matters at all. Now, let's look at Sean Parker. Okay, a real person, by the way, from the social network, is a helper, a donor, a false hero, and a villain. He plays all of these characters all at once. Okay, now you've got Dumbledore in Harry Potter. He's the dispatcher, he's the donor, and the helper. He does all of those things. And so the more question to you is, does it matter that your characters um, play, different, uh, play different roles in the film? You've got Elsa from Frozen. He's both a villain and a hero. Okay, um, you might argue different. Um, you might um, call her a false hero, that's up to you, and you, maybe you think that Anna's the hero, okay? So I want you to explain to me, as the final thing of the lesson, is um, does it matter that there's a lot of crossover, okay? Does that spoil, does that spoil the um, the theory? Does that ruin the um, the usefulness of it, okay? That's your plenary, when you pause the video, you write that down, and you are done. Okay, thank you guys. And see you guys on the next video.